The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. Sparta jumps out to a 1-0 lead in his North Group 3 state tourney clash. Watch Taryn Penner break in and she scores against number 11 Montville and Sparta's up by one. The Spartans the number three seed. They take a 2-0 lead here. Watch Mackenzie McGuire rush the cage and she scores for Sparta. Montville gets on the scoreboard here. Watch Ashley Bellow make the little move here before she scores and Montville trails 2-1. And Bellow knots things up here as she rips it into the back of the net and we are tied at two here in the first half. But Sparta snaps the tie after another Taryn Penner goal, then watch this great passing as Emily Carice feeds Beth McGraw, and she scores, and Sparta's up four to two. Then watch the great save here by Bridget Denboer of Sparta as she stones Nicole Doretsky to keep it four to two. Big save. All right, Sparta did a great job of possessing the ball, and the Spartans cap a long possession here on this goal by Emily Carice, and the Spartans have a 6-3 lead. Sparta keeps adding to its lead here off another long possession by Julia Carice with the good look to Julia Silvestri and she scores and Sparta's up by 4-7-3. Sparta takes an 8-3 lead at the half. Watch Casey Balby with a good feed to Claire Schmitzer who scores and Sparta has a 5-goal lead over the Mustangs at the break. Second half action we go and it's Casey Balby again with the assist on the beautiful one-timer by Julia Carice and the Spartans are up 9-3. Sparta will push its lead to 11-4 before 200 career goal scorer Abby Hansen of Montville scores her second straight goal to cut Sparta's lead to 11-5. Sparta would take a 12-6 lead here, watch Mackenzie McGuire take it in all by herself for the score, and Sparta's now up by six. And then it's Beth McGraw with his beautiful dodge and the goal, and Sparta pushes its lead to 13-6 over the Mustangs. Now watch this great catch by Julia Silvestri off another good pass from Casey Bowlby and Silvestri scores and Sparta's up 14 to eight. And Sparta scores its final goal of the game here in the transition as Mackenzie McGuire finishes for her third goal as Sparta tops Montville 15 to 10 to advance to the section semifinals. We're really, really excited about making it to the next round in states. This has never happened before. And um, we, we thought from the beginning of the season, like this is the team we're going to do this with. So we're very, we, I think we're a very strong team. We work very well together with good chemistry. So I think that's why we're making it so far. We played really well as a team today. I mean, we haven't had that much of a competition this year with our team. And Montville is a really good component. And we're looking forward to the winner of West Morris and Princeton. We're so excited. This is the farthest we've ever made it in state. So we're definitely really excited. Uh, we're going to play. I think Princeton on Thursday, so you just got to keep going. Yeah, this is the first time we've ever made it to the semifinals. We've been doing really well this year. We've done a lot of things. We just got to the championship of the 100 and more in Sussex. That was the first time we've done that. We've just been really making like big goals. We've been now we're going to go to the semifinals for the first time. I just think we came out really hard and really wanted to win. It really showed in the score and the win of the game. And um, this is like a big opponent for us because they were the underdog and they came up and they beat Northern Highlands and then we just really had to take it to them today like we did. I just think it's a gift. It's a gift for all of us. It's a gift for me because I get to keep these girls around for a little bit longer. We're going to have, I think, the next couple of days some really solid practices to get ready for the next round. And I, I, I can't even tell you the, uh, how thrilled I am and how thrilled they are. And, you know, they worked really hard. And I think you can see that at the end of the game where that last whistle blew and they were so tired, they couldn't even jump up and down, I think. So they deserve this win. They worked hard for it. They earned it. We put in the prep time, and we're going to try to do the same thing the next round. 